All right, so we have the railgun set up here. I'm gonna turn it on. It's kind of hard to see, but it's gonna display the charge. Yeah, there we go. Battery voltage, capacitor charge, and shot energy there. And we have uh, Mr. Cantaloupe over here. Yeah, it's kind of creepy, but whatever. All right. And now we'll begin the charging. So we're going to turn the inverter on. All right, here we go. We are charging again. So here you can see the charge in the capacitor bank is climbing. It takes about three minutes to charge. Shut this guy off, see what we're at. Looks like we're at around 950. I'm gonna keep charging. Looks like we're sitting around 980 volts. So we're gonna go ahead and charge the pneumatic system it's closed 960 volts gonna go ahead and pull the bolt back take a small aluminum projectile load it in it's locked Alright, looks like we're still sitting around 950 volts. Injector's still charged. Firing in three, two, one. Alright, so it hit Mr. Cantaloupe Head sideways. Uh, clearly, uh, I'm gonna have to do some digging. Here we have Mr. Cantaloupe Head. It's kind of hard cutting with video camera in my hand, but we're going to go ahead and notice this has not been tampered with. So if the thing bounced off, we're going to see it. Trying to keep this in view. I hear something metal. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep, there we are. There it is. The slug. Shit. So it looks like it tumbled as it entered. So here's the, uh, looks like it carved out a path along here and lodged itself against the back wall. Here you see the uh, characteristic plasma damage. Let me wash this off a little bit. And you can see the characteristic plasma damage from the railgun.